हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर आर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ माइक्रोब्स टू ह्यूमन काइंड ऑल दो इन दीज डेज वी आर सफरिंग विथ अ वायरस विच इज नोन एज करोना वायरस द वर्ल्ड इज फेसिंग अ डेडली पैंडमिक but always remember that viruses cannot be included in the category of microbes why is it so because viruses they are they don't have their own identity outside a living organism they are dead they can only become live when they enter a human body or any living organism they use their machinery for reproduction or for synthesis of some important proteins so now the question is what is included in this category in microbes we have protista we have bacteria some algae which are not multicellular and some plants which are also microscopic so they are included in the category of microbes dear students microbes they are present everywhere they are present in on our hands they are present on our mobile screens and they are present even extreme conditions where you think that it is not uh, possible for any living organism to survive over there for example sulfur springs there certain bacteria can survive those bacteria they are known as thermophilus bacteria till the time we only knew that microbes they are not good for human beings so we were always we are told by our parents and uh, there were many advertisements in television or other media where it was repeatedly said that wash your hands before taking meals why it was so so that any bacteria cannot enter in our body and cause a disease but it is not always true there are certain bacteria or certain uh, microbes correctly if i will say which are beneficial for human beings firstly let's discuss about curd which is the product of a bacterium lactobacillus firstly some features about curd in our kashmiri society everybody likes curd because it is easily digestible it is rich in vitamins it contains very important vitamin that is vitamin b12 and inside our stomach it prevents um the infection or you can say the growth of other bacteria lactobacillus what it does it coagulates the milk and partially digests the milk protein and ultimately the milk it gets converted into curd but remember there is an optimum temperature set for curd formation okay you cannot keep the milk at high temperature for example 40 or 50 degree temperature or you cannot keep it extremely chilled condition so there is a set temperature where curd can be formed another product of microbes is cheese it is the oldest food item in which microbes are used in cheese we have partially degraded concentrated uh, concentrate of milk fat and milk protein and what is a milk protein it is casein nowadays different uh, flavors of cheese they are available in market and the most likable cheese is swiss cheese because it was created in switzerland so it has a name on the name of country swiss cheese it is very delicious cheese and it is made by the bacterium propyne bacterium species 
the third category is bread and in kashmir what is the most uh, likable bread it is sachwadu dear students sachwadu and bread it is made with the help of a yeast that is known as baker's yeast it is the name because uh, these people use a particular strain of uh, uh, yeast to ferment the bread okay to ferment the dough and this species is known as saccharomyces cerevisiae puffed up appearance the fluffy appearance like of such vadu or or you can say before such vadu we have dough and it is because the carbon dioxide it is produced by fermentation during fermentation carbon dioxide gas along with ethyl alcohol it evaporates okay and the swelling of dough the fluffiness of dough it is known as leavening dear students as in kashmir we have such vadu as a favorite delicacy in um, south india those people they like dosa and idli that is also a fermented food and it is prepared from rice and black gram okay and the microbes which are used for fermentation are streptococcus and certain other bacteria microbes they are used to ferment fish soya bean and bamboo okay when soya bean and wheat it is fermented uh, the product which we are getting it is known as tofu also it is present in india uh, is however a japanese term and in indonesia it is known as tempe and chinese people they say it sufu okay with this i have completed this topic if you have any question you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com